Hi, in this tutorial video, we are going to cover how to use Smart Control's equation editor function to design a controller for a generic system based on the equations for the transfer function and the sensor and eventually the compensator. To start with, let's launch the equation editor by clicking on the icon. And we'll just work with the default uh, converter, which is a buck. And we can see that we uh, have the parameters that define the buck here. We are then um, processing some intermediate variables here with mathematical expressions from the uh, initial parameters. We can see down at the bottom that we're able to define a transfer function of, of the numerator divided by the denominator, which has been defined by these intermediate variables here. We can see that uh, D2 is being compiled by the resistance times the input voltage divided by D0. So all of these uh, parameters are available for us to manipulate and we can add in parasitic uh, values to the uh, components as we see fit. We can compile this and we'll do a frequency sweep now between 10 and 10 megahertz and we'll get the transfer functions displayed after it's computed. So this all looks good and we'll go to the next stage by clicking OK and we'll uh, be able to determine the sensors transfer function. The sensors default transfer function is actually just a voltage divider with no uh, poles or zeros. So it's just a straight gain with no shift in uh, phase. And we can compile this and look at it as well. If we're satisfied with this, we can now move to the next stage, which is determining the uh, controller. We're given three options. We can choose a PI, a type two, or a type three. Let's just go with PI for now. Let's give ourselves an initial point uh, for cross frequency and phase margin. And let's look at what uh, the effect is of our selection. The first thing to notice in Smart Control is that you're displayed with the gain and phase margins plots here, transfer functions here. The options to select them are at the top here. So we can, this, the green line is the plant transfer function, which was defined from the equation editor. If we wanted to, we could see the, the, this transfer function for the sensor. We're also given the option to look at the control to output without compensator. We're given the option to look at sensor to compensator. Uh, or the pink one here is the control to output transfer function. And if we add this one, this is the closed loop transfer function. Additionally, we're able to look at the uh, step response here to a 0.1% change in uh, reference signal. We also have access to the polar plot. So as we move this uh, phase margin versus cross frequency operating point around, we can see how all the plots change. Once we've determined a operating point that suits our needs, we'll be able to then export the um, gain values for our PI and import that quickly into PSIM if we so desire. Additionally, if we'd like to go back and ad adjust the transfer functions, we can just go back and click on the Modify Data button. And say we want to add a, um, a pole to the sensor. That's easy to change. Let's add a pole that will affect our um, frequency response at around uh, between 10 and 100 kilohertz. So I've added a pole to the uh, sensor's transfer function, and we can see that it's uh, affecting the phase and the gain with a roll off just before 100 K Hertz. Let's look and see how this affects our design. If, if we choose a PI controller, 
we see that uh, we do not have a lot of phase margin accessible to us anymore. So we should um, change which uh, controller we use. In this case, we'll probably need to choose a type 3. As you can see that we have a lot more phase margin available to us with a type 3 controller. So now we have our type 3 controller uh, in and we can see and look for a new operating point. We can look at the data that we've inputted here. We can also look at we can look at the data that will define our controllers if we build it with a um, RC circuit uh, with op amps, or we can look at what the zeros and poles will be uh, if we define it that way, or what the uh, uh, the transfer function will look will look like here. That's it for this tutorial video. Check back often for further information and tutorial videos.